Welcome to Sleepy Eyes. I am your host, Varga. I take you on a journey in the dark of the night with warm tales. Take a moment to relax your body and mind with the current calmness. Breathe deeply, feel the energy inside, and let go of any tiredness. Put aside the past and focus on the peacefulness of the present moment. Recognize any tension in your body. Allow it to fade away and unwind. Discover your inner peace and simply unwind in the tranquility of now. Before going to sleep, prepare to read a story comfortably in this peaceful setting. Let the magic of words captivate you as you get lost in a tale or story. With the warmth from this peace and relaxation, your sleep will become even more serene. Close your eyes, embark on a journey with a touch of words. Let each word guide you a bit deeper toward the essence of your inner peace. Now, relax and enjoy the pleasure of getting lost in the enchanting world of the story before drifting into sleep. Of Dust and Domes, Chapter 5 Ghosts of the Past and Hopes for the Future the dust continued to swirl ferociously as Jake inched the rover forward. Through the opaque haze, faint shadows emerged, shapes obscured but somehow familiar. As he approached, the outlines came into clearer focus. Before him stood the remnants of the outpost, crumbling domes, scaffolding bowed under the onslaught of centuries of storms. Jake surveyed the ruins stealing himself against the ghosts of past pioneers who once called this place home. He scanned for any signs of life amongst the wreckage, but found only bleached skeletons of buildings half buried under rust-colored dunes. Cutting the engine, Jake donned his helmet and ventured out into the wasteland. The atmosphere was thin and volatile, yet he pressed on. Memories haunted this barren shore, visions of families that endured hardships so their descendants might dwell among the stars. Though these pioneers were long forgotten in all but name, Jake vowed to honor their sacrifice. He combed methodically through the ruins, salvaging snippets of history with each discovery, a child's doll unearthed from beneath a collapsed wall, an old logbook clutching secret dreams in an unfamiliar tongue. But it was amidst the rubble of the central dome that Jake spotted a glimmer of hope, a steel chamber half submerged within the fading dunes, a single word still legible on its side, seeds. Jake dug through the rubble that piled against the chamber, but the layers of silt and stone refused to yield their secrets easily. As the minutes stretched with no success, doubt began to creep in. How could anything have survived so long buried under this merciless landscape? Pausing to catch his breath, Jake scanned the ruins once more for any clue he may have overlooked. It was then, in the fading light of the red suns, that a glint amongst the debris caught his eye. Brushing away the dust, a small object emerged, no larger than a pearl, but as he lifted it to examine more closely, Jake realized it was not a stone nor relic, but a single seed, intact after all these years. Time had not diminished its essence, just as the explorers of old could not be broken by even the harshest realities of the Red Planet. In that small seed lay the code of life, resilient as the pioneers who first brought it to these sands. Renewed in purpose, Jake returned to clearing the chamber with swift determination the seed clutched in hand a symbol of hope. Jake redoubled his efforts with newfound vigor. He explored every crevice and examined each nook that had been overlooked before, determined not to leave any stone unturned. After shifting another heavy slab of stone, he discovered a hidden compartment, miraculously intact. Inside rested ancient canisters bearing labels too, weathered to read, their contents sealed for centuries. Carefully opening the first canister, Jake peered within and glimpsed the glimmer of multitudes, seeds of every shape and color, 
preserved in stasis through the decades, he had uncovered the vault in its entirety, a cache of life waiting to be revived. Sampling each variety, Jake salvaged only what would fit in his pack, leaving behind a chorus of future generations yet unknown. Each discovery lifted his spirit, each seed a promise that out of even the most barren of places, creation could emerge once more. Though the ghosts of this place might never be laid to rest, its legacy would live on in new growth. As twilight fell, Jake stared out across the fading dunes with renewed conviction. He would ensure these seeds found purchase once again. Jake packed the canisters of seeds carefully into the storage compartment. As the last one clicked into place, satisfaction and relief swept over him. His mission was accomplished. Stepping out of the chamber, he surveyed the ruins once more. Gone was any sense of ghosts or sadness. Now he saw only enduring stories of fortitude carved into the rust-colored stones. Lessons of hardship overcome whispered on the winds, testaments to pioneers who braved the unknown and prevailed despite all odds. Against the fading light of sunset, Jake committed their legacy to heart. Though this place now stood silent, the settlers' trials were not in vain. Through their sacrifices, future generations could survive the harsh terrain and build prospering colonies. As he had done, they found ways to endure even the fiercest of storms. Darkness was falling, but in Jake's mind the ruins glowed with renewed life. No matter what challenges the morrow could bring, he would meet them with the same grit and resolve as those who came before. Their persevering spirit lived on in him and all the colonists, and soon, through the seeds he bore, would take root once more. The setting suns leached what little warmth remained from the ruins. As shadows claimed the cracked landscape, an ache of loneliness crept over Jake. He fired up the rover and engaged the heating modules, but still the cold seeped in. Isolation pressed down as darkness engulfed the sky, leaving only two pale stars visible through swirling grains of sile. Doubts whispered. What if the rover failed to start come morning? What if another storm trapped him among these bones before reaching home? Shivering, Jake turned his gaze upward, letting familiar patterns guide his mind from grim thoughts. There, he spied a configuration, twinkling bright and steady through a break in windswept dust. Cassiopeia, his mother used to say, the queen who braved the stars. Andromeda beside her, daughter of kings who knew hardships forge. Constellations of his people smiled down, guiding settlers past and present as their light kindled memories of familiar laughter and voices calling his name. Purpose warmed Jake from within. He would travel on, carrying these pioneers' legacy in his bag of seeds, home to the new growth they would nurture together. The frigid night eventually surrendered to the ruddy glow of dawn. Blinking away remnants of fitful dreams, Jake peered out across the sheltering ruins. Scarlet light illuminated vestiges clinging stubbornly to the sands. Walls lay crumbled, yet foundations sturdy as the pioneers who built this outpost against impossible odds. Scattered beams, battered but refusing collapse, still reached skyward after an age of contending storms. These shadows of perseverance never failed to emerge each morning. Even now they stood witness, inspiring Jake with their tenacity to withstand whatever desolate landscape or hardship barred the way. As the sun crested bloody over drifting dunes, he took their testament to fortitude into his heart. The colonists were waiting, survival depending on the seeds safely carried home. Jake steeled his resolve and set about preparations. Imitating the outpost's refusal to surrender, he vowed two would resist any threat impeding his return, 
until, at last, the outpost ruins disappeared behind. Mission accomplished. Through the pioneer's courage living on, the rising sun energized Jake to continue exploring the ruins before departing. He combed every inch of sheltered ground, fingertips brushing remnants as if communing with ghosts of the past. Yet as the day waned, shadows gradually reclaimed the outpost. Jake's scouring was halted by the fading light. He gazed around at the silent relics, permeated by mournful majesty. How small his rover appeared beside leaning walls, standing guard over the pioneer's dreams. Those settlers who survived to construct this haven were long forgotten, save their legacy etched in stone. They had braved hostility alone, with nothing but resolve to pave the way for future generations. A sobering ponder overcame Jake at their sacrifices, and those of all forebears who endured hardship upon these sands. Darkness was swift to claim the ruins as twilight fell. Jake lingered a while more, committing the scene to deep memory before boarding his rover under the watch of dusty sentinels. Though shadows now cloaked the outpost, its builder's indomitable spirit would always shine as bright as the pioneer stars above his guided route homeward into the night.